Ramson Chan, MP-elect for West Taniara, vows to prioritize constituents' needs. Songovari stresses our party's democratic process in choosing prime ministerial candidates. Pre-poll ballots excluded in Isabel Province election counting. Hello and welcome, I'm Ursula Nongebatu. The MP-elect for West Honiara, Namson Tran, pledges to continue serving his constituents to the best of his ability. Today, Tran hosted a Thanksgiving program expressing gratitude to the 5,466 voters in West Honiara. Above all, we have both for saying, thank you, Lord God, for choosing me to lead and to serve you, my people of West Honiara constituency, for the next four weeks. Born in Vietnam, Tran relocated to Vanuatu before settling in the Solomon Islands, where he had married a Solomon Islander and became a naturalized citizen. He initially worked as an accountant before establishing himself as a prominent businessman, notably as the owner of Honiara Casino. Tran's political journey began with his election to the National Parliament as MP for West Honiara in the August 2010 general election. Me understand and sabe that you will have placed trust in me and elected me in this election in order to better our challenges that lies ahead. Loyumi and the country of Loyumi, the Solomon Islands. With your continued support, by you may continue to develop more for our constituency and especially for you, our families, our communities and our beloved Solomon Islands. Tran assured the people of West Honiara that until the formation of a new government, he would be fully engaged in the transitional process. He urged his constituents to grant him the necessary time to ensure a smooth transition before resuming administrative duties under the 12th Parliament for the West Honiara constituency. Additionally, he emphasized his stance on transparent and accountable governance, particularly regarding constituency development funds. Accountability, transparency, the funding of every constituency of West Honiara, and do my best to serve my country, Solomon Islands. My people of West Honiara constituency, I will continue to serve you for the next four years and beyond to my best ability. I would like to ask the all others 49 members to be accountability and transparency lo every funding, lo constituency, lo every people blow you me, lo Solomon Islands. Thank you. Manase Songovare, parliamentary wing leader for the Our Party and caretaker prime minister, emphasizes that the selection of their candidate for the prime minister's post will be determined by the party members, with elected MPs actively engaging in discussions to form the next government, Songovari asserts that the responsibility of choosing the country's next Prime Minister rests with the winning candidates and the parties they represent. We, we have a political party, we will go out contest, we will believe in what we will tell them and, and also. So I'll be in you know, basically the hands of, uh, of the colleagues of mine. And also where we will be, and also we will be uh, uh, determined by the the, uh, the, the coalition. Well, at this point in time, it's uh, People's First and our party, of course, and we, we also have a cadre party uh, with us as well, all of this one. So it, 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 unlike others who already post, you know, put in place where they will be, <laughs> all of this one, my principle over the last six uh, you know, elections have been in four time, all of those six times uh, that me win come as member of parliament have uh, been elevated to the to the office of the prime minister and i be i owe that to my to my colleagues you know. by this round no difference i will not be vying for anything i will not be pressuring for anything we will uh, you know uh, work with him our, our group we push one and if i believe i'll send them we, you know when that if uh, god willing that that uh, the government come back to handle before, of course. 
we have a lot, uh, to a lot of, uh, as we say, uh, work in progress. A lot of reforms that we will build have to go to parliament. There's a lot of things. The next, this five, next five years will be a very, very, you know, interesting years. There's a lot of reforms by happening. A lot of things by happening as well too. Uh, hopefully there will be no another COVID-19. 39 pre-poor ballot papers from three constituencies in Isabel province were excluded from the election counting process as confirmed by the Chief Electoral Officer and Commissioner Jasper Highwood Anissi in a press conference today. The affected constituencies are Gaubugotu, Hograno Kia Havule and Maringe Kokota. Mr Anissi clarified that these pre-poor ballot papers were cast by voters in Honiara. The only authority able to review the decision of the returning officer is the High Court of Solomon Islands. That the margin between the declared successful candidates and the first runner-ups were as follows. For Gao Bugotu constituency, 13. For Hograno Kia Havule, 2,113 votes. Maringe Kokota, 106 votes. These are the difference between the candidate elect and the first run up. Having noted that the above matters, the commission decided that since the difference in vote cast between the successful candidates and the first run up in the Hograno Kiahavile constituency and Maringe Kokota constituency were far in excess of the pre poll votes not counted and will not affect the final result that no further action should be taken in respect of the count results of these two constituencies. In relation to the constituency of Gao Bugotu, the Commission decided, amongst other things, that since the number of pre-poll ballot papers cast and not counted is 13, compared to the difference of 13 between the <clears throat> successful candidate and the first runner-up, the first outcome already declared may be affected if all the pre-poll ballot papers casted without exception have voted in favor of the run-up. <clears throat> the Commission in acknowledging, acknowledging that the number of papers equal to the difference between the number of ballot papers cast in favor of the successful candidate and the first run-up and also acknowledge the fact that the error was caused its officials decided that the Commission would write to the Attorney General's Chambers to request the Attorney to seek to issue status petition Section 109 of the Electoral Act to enable the court to open the envelope of the uncounted pre poll ballot papers to determine the manner in which 13 votes, those 13 votes had voted. John Selvin Kuza, returning officer for Vulolo Ward in central Guadalcanal, reflects on the lessons learned during the joint elections. Following the conclusion of vote counting in central Guadalcanal, Kuza acknowledges the challenges of his role as a returning officer and appreciates the valuable experience gained. Like how people come through and how people analyze him and how people experience him, I think it's best for him to pop up this fella kind of uh, election system so that so that uh, avoiding no corruption, avoiding no whatever complaints is, complaints and all this so that like if if you like try for doing some uh, corrupt move or corrupt uh, decision making by you no know, height. Yeah. Then you like doing you like doing the no first place it but you know come in no second or third party but you have a high short now but you have a so, so, so meaning that by me that I'm not people for involved with corruption because nature below that for the like, process and steps here I'm, 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 I'm a little bit different from what previous one as we said in Manola I'm, 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 I'm easy for you to be doing some of the corruption but this one is my totally a bar of heart you know, so time me look the principle of ethics and Point of conduct, I'm really apply now. Yeah, I'm really apply because when time you talk about principle of ethics, you say neutrality, yeah, you say integrity, you say transparency, honestly, all this, yeah. And but what makes sense? Like me, one for arrow means because we really feel, me really touch, me experiencing that 
no any RAO or any uh, of, uh, election officials by himself involved or, or whatever corruption because time you know going to face step shit but you feel him and by you look him know that they mean that they mean for involved corruption so so in the beginning before me for come in operation but we will have to focus the principle of ethics and code of conduct yeah? so they are not by me that and me for not at all for involved or whatever uh, uh, conflict of interest or whatever corruption in terms of election so we find him out uh, we find him out that this fella kind of system and, and, and well organized and based for him he should continue to apply law or it's a society blame or system blame it's so on and on for our wedding no corruption complaints and all this thing. john selwyn kuza returning officer for vulolo ward in central guadalcanal and moving on to other news the National Disaster Management Office in the Geological Survey Division received timely assistance from the New Zealand Defence Force to conduct landslide aerial surveys in Isabel Province. Triggered by prolonged heavy rainfall and the effects of Tropical Cyclone Jasper, the landslides have affected several villages in the Gaubugotu region of Isabel Province. The NDMO emphasised the importance of vigilance among communities living in landslide-prone areas and expressed gratitude for New Zealand's support in disaster risk management. And finally, in sports, Matak's Futsal Club secured a narrow victory against UNV Futsal Club of Vanuatu in the OFC Futsal Club Championship. With goals from Junior Mana and Billy Afi, Matax emerged triumphant with a 3-2 win. The Our Telecom Super League, Futsal Championship and Solrise Women's Premier League are set to commence. The women's clubs will feature 10 competing teams, while 12 franchise teams will participate in the TSL League. Due to the recent elections, match schedules for the 2024 season have been postponed to April 27th, with further details to be communicated to all clubs. And that concludes the news from Tavoli News. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Ursula Nogabatu. See you tomorrow.